hello everyone and welcome to my channel in this video i'm giving you a very easy natural makeup look to do i use under 10 products so if you are interested in seeing how i got this look stay tuned real quick before the video starts i definitely want to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel we officially hit three hundred um, i'm super excited i know 300 seems like a very small number but it is big to somebody who started their channel with zero subscribers so thank you all for subscribing i truly truly do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart all right so the first product i'm actually going to use is the elf all the fills facial oil it is hemp cannabis sativa infused this is what it looks like as you can see i definitely am running out i have used this all um i usually don't use a lot of oils on my face i usually will just kind of go in with a primer but because i kind of want that more dewy look i feel like when you lay an oil down and put like foundation or bb cream over it it kind of keeps that dewy effect and so that's what i like i don't just lay it on my face i put it on my hands and rub it around and then just kind of go in Once the oil is on the face and I feel like it has kind of set into the face, that is when I will start to go in with either my foundation or my BB cream. Now, because I want a more lighter, not so heavy beat, I am going to use a BB cream on my face. The BB cream that I am using today is It Cosmetics CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream and it also has SPF 50 in it. And this is what it looks like. Funny story about this product, I got this product from Sephora a while back and I never used it. I just kind of kept it in my makeup bag. I used it once and I didn't like the light coverage because I was more into um, fuller coverages at the time. The woman told me that you couldn't build it. And so I was like, ugh, like why'd I even get this product? You know, sometimes you have that. But then as I was reading it, the tips are you can literally just add more on to get full coverage, which duh, like we all know that. But I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> so I guess if you wanted to kind of have more of a fuller coverage look with this, you could. Um, I usually don't. I would just use a regular foundation if that's what I wanted. I do like to go in with a beauty blender with my BB cream. I just put a couple of dots around and then go right in. All right, so normally I do color correct. I would put like an orange color correcting around my beard area um, because I do have a beard. I do shave every day for the most part. Not every day, but like every other day I'm shaving. So, but when I do more of a natural look, I don't put an orange concealer. I just kind of let it go. <laughs> really, I like natural looks because it just looks more like your skin. You know, I like that kind of, I just woke up, but I'm like glowy kind of look. So that's why I will use this. So usually when I use this BB cream, I usually use anywhere from like two to four pumps, just kind of depending on how I feel. I'm also looking for the BB cream that I, oh, here it goes. Okay. So normally I would use two to four pumps, just kind of depending on how I feel. Um, and again, of course, just kind of the application that I want. Usually I start at the very top and just kind of work my way down with it, you know, blend it into the neck. It is super lightweight though. Like it feels so good on the skin. Like it, I, I like it a lot, which is why I've kind of stuck with it. I also sometimes will use Bare Minerals. They have a really good kind of like BB cream. Um, I think it's called the Tinted Gel Cream, if I remember correctly. Um, and I actually bought the foundation for that, but I can show you that in a different video if you like. Like literally, I don't know if you can tell, but I haven't even really applied a lot and I'm already looking like dewy, which is what I love. Love that so much. So once you get done applying your BB cream, um, actually the lady at Sephora said I could literally stop there. She said sometimes she would just put the cream on and just go, which you could totally do if that's what you want to do because it is very natural. It's very just kind of like skin like, so you don't really need to like 
powder it. You don't need to put a blush or a highlight, a lip, if, you, if that's not what you're going for. For this look, I am trying to jizz it up a little bit, but not too much. I don't want it to be too full coverage, um, but I do want it to stay. You know, I, I, don't, I don't want to be wiping my face and it's melting off and things of that nature. So I do put a little powder on my face. Um, the powder that I am going to use today is the NYX A Matte But Not Flat foundation powder which is a great powder i love this powder i've been using it for years now um but i won't go as heavy with it because again i don't want that matte look i'm just gonna lightly kind of dust it on just to kind of lock in that bb cream um the brush i'm using today is actually from larouche beauty if you guys don't know i am very good friends with larouche beauty i will link them down in the description below these brushes are amazing love these brushes and this is the lr360 uh, brush. It's just kind of a big fluffy brush. Um, so I'm going to put some powder on there, kind of dust that off a little bit, and literally just pat it on. How are you all doing though? Like on a serious note. If you saw my last, not my last video, but one of my last videos, I talked about how I decided to um, leave my job and try something different out, which I am doing. Um, so a video about my new profession will be coming soon. I'm really excited to share it with you all and share the new experience that I'm going to go out on in my new journey. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. So usually once I put a little powder on, I go back in with my beauty blender just to kind of press it all in, make sure it's all locked in, of course. All right, so once I am done pressing everything in, making sure it all looks fine and good, that is when I will go in on my eyebrows. Now, for this more natural look, I really don't do anything but kind of go over my eyebrows with um, a pencil just to kind of fill them in a little bit. And then what I will do is I would take my beauty blender and, you know, just kind of blend around the eyebrows to kind of clean them up. I, don't, I won't conceal them. I feel like you could do a light conceal if you wanted to, but um, I'm not going for a done up look. I just want very natural. I want somebody to look at me and just be like, oh, like, look at you, you know, like, oh, my eyebrows is full type of situation. <laughs> The eyebrow pencil that I use is actually from NYX Cosmetics as well, and it is in soft brown. It is the eyebrow powder pencil. As you can see, I literally probably need another one. I should order one online. Um, and normally what I would do is go in, just kind of brush them and apply. Sorry if you can't see my face for this. I have to have the mirror like right up here to see as... I'm sure you all know. I'll try to turn this way. So once I have filled in my eyebrows to how I like them, um, like I said, I usually kind of just take my Beauty blender and lightly just kind of go over that area and underneath the eyebrow just to kind of clean it up a little bit. And then that's how they look. So still very much the same shape, just a little bit more filled in. Okay, so realistically, you could stop there. And I've only used, what, three products. I've used the BB cream. I've used the oil. I've used the powder foundation and the eyebrow pencil. So four products so far. So I'm still doing pretty well. Um, normally after that, what I would do is I would go in with um, a little concealer if I really wanted to. If I would have put like maybe a pump or two pumps of the BB cream on, I would do a little concealer. Um, but I don't think I need concealer. I'm kind of liking the way this is looking right now. Um, so what I will do is I will move on to blush. Now, I love blush. I am a blush type of person. Um, I don't really care for contouring like that with something like this kind of look. Um, if I was to contour, 
um i kind of feel like it would look overdone you know what i mean but i feel like blush kind of can replace that contour if you do it right um i'm going to use two blushes I'm actually going to use the kylie jenner um we're going shopping blush and i'm going to use the patrick star i'm not blushing blush from mac um i love these two blushes i have been using the patrick star blush since he came out with it for the collab with mac um i am literally almost at pan i don't know if you can tell but it is almost there i can see the edges of the pan or the outline of the bottom part of the pan normally i would use the same brush for my blush um because it's a powder blush and i can just use the same brush um but i am going to go into my la Roche beauty abbey brush set um, again, this is from LaRouche. I will put them in the link down below. Please go check out their brushes. They are so good. I'm kidding you not. These are vegan, cruelty-free, synthetic brushes, and they are amazing. They have brush sets. You can buy them singly. Uh, singly. You can buy a single brush if you want. Um, yeah. So, but I have turned this box set into kind of like my, all my brushes that I would go for a holder. I have some lipsticks, other concealers and things like that in here. For my blush today, I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use the LR322 brush. This is their Kabuki brush. Um, I like using a Kabuki brush with my blushes. I kind of feel like I can pack it on and really place it where I want and then I can use a beauty blender and blend it out to kind of hit more of my face if that's what I'm looking for. I'm just going to go in with that Kylie Jenner blush and mix a little bit of that Patrick Star blush with it and then hit the apples of the cheeks. I don't know what it is about this blush combo but I live for these two blushes on my face for some reason. Sometimes it is too light, so you have to kind of build it. But I'm used to that with blushes, so I would just go in a second time. Again, I'm trying to get that natural look, so I won't put too much blush on. But enough so you can kind of be like, oh, did somebody pinch his cheeks this morning? You know, did he have somebody over? Did they, did they you know, peach him? <laughs> what am I even saying? So then afterwards, I'm going to take that same beauty blender... I'm just going to kind of diffuse it. See? If you want, you can even kind of put a little bit of your foundation powder on that brush and just kind of lightly go over it if it's too much of a pop for you. But because, again, I'm not contouring, I like the way it looks with a little blush. That blush is really that kind of like, oh, it shows off your cheeks a little bit more, you know? Okay. So that is literally what it looks like afterwards. So once I am done putting on blush, I like to go in with a dewy mist spray. Um, I have from Beauty Evolution, the ultimate setting spray. It is actually a primer and a setting spray for dewy coconut scented. Love this. I got this from... Marshalls or Ross. It was like five dollars, huge bottle. Um, and so I will just go in with that. You know, look at that. Mm. Mm. Okay. One of the last products that I'm gonna use is Mac Go Deposit. Um, and this is one of their skin finish. I have been using this particular skin finish for probably six or seven years now. It was one of my first makeup items outside of a foundation that I got. I took one from my aunt. She had one in her makeup kit and I noticed she never really used it. So I took it. She never noticed. And I have been buying them ever since. I live by this. I don't always reach for it. But when I do, I remember why I loved it. Now this is going to give you just kind of that shine where you want it. Um, and so I use it as a highlighter. I also will kind of use it low-key as a contour and kind of, you know, go around the edges a little bit of my face. Um, but I kind of start where the blush ends and lightly just kind of dust it on. I'm using that same fluffy brush from LaRousse. Go in a little bit. That way when you turn, you know, that, that light hits you, you kind of have that highlight shine, but not so intense. 
definitely you can build it if you like but because I'm lightly putting it on it's gonna be a very kind of like natural kind of glow and that's what I'm living for lately so once you're done with that step of course my last step is just to put something on my lips you can throw a gloss on you don't really have to put on anything if you don't want what I like to do is I like to go in with a little lip liner and a little gloss for the lip liner I will be using KKW X Mario this is in the color beauty icon and then I'm going to use the Kylie Jenner and Coco collab gloss in Damn Gina. Kind of line your lips however you would want to. I don't like to overdo it. So that's what the lip liner looks like. I love it. I think if you are um, of a darker skin complexion um, or my color, I think this lip liner is really amazing. I'm sure there are other ones out there that are just like this that are more affordable. Um, I got this lip liner because it came with like a whole KKW set that I bought because um, I really wanted to try out her makeup. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of the gloss. And there you have it. This is your finished look. So as you can see, it's a really simple, easy look. I literally don't do anything to the eyes. You could take it further if you wanted to. You could put, you know, eyeshadow on. You could put some eyelashes on, mascara, all that fun stuff if that's what you choose to do with the look. This is just kind of like an easy, I gotta go. I gotta get up. I gotta film something. This is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Come join the family. Um, as you know, we did hit 300 subscribers. So thank you again to everybody who has subscribed. I'm so excited that you are on this journey with me to just see me evolve into the person that I am and I'm going to become. Um, don't forget to leave any comments about anything, anything you would like to see. If you have any questions about the products, please ask. I will try to link all of the products in the description box of where I bought them, where I found them and things like that. That is going to be all for today um, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.